Hello, so I know that it's been quite some time since I made the last video, but I'm back with the game development series. Remember that if you're following the series, if you're making the game with me and you see me disappear for some time, just uh, drop comments on the last video and I'll check them out and just get back to making the series. But in any case, I'm back now and in this video, we'll be writing the code for collisions. This will be a very short video because it's pretty simple to do collisions in Unity. Let's dive right in and see how it's done. Alright, so here we are with the project. If I hit play now, it's going to construct all of the bricks. And our aim right now is to uh, check for collisions between the ball and the paddle and the ball and the bricks. These are the two collisions that we'll have. So Unity offers this really cool function which is built in and uh, it's called on collision um, on collision enter and because this is a 2d game we are going to go with on collision enter 2d and uh, this takes as parameter a collision 2d object which is which we are going to call target so uh, because i'm putting this in the ball script it refers to collisions of the ball with something and that something is the target so this is what the ball just collided with and now if i wanted to access the uh, game object of whatever the ball collided with then i must do a target dot game object because remember that this target is just a collision 2d object so what I do here uh, at this point is I go back to my game and I go on my paddle and there's this thing called a tag. I need to add a tag to my paddle to be able to identify the uh, paddle later. So I go in this and I could give this any tag but I'm just going to add some of my own tags. One of them I'll call paddle and uh, the other one I'll call brick. Remember that I just uh, created those tags. I still haven't given a tag to my paddle. So I'm going to do that and tag my paddle as a paddle. Another thing that is important for me to be able to detect collisions between let's say a ball and a paddle is to give uh, both of them colliders. So I go on my ball and I select uh, I think circle collider. So this should work. And let me just zoom into the ball to make sure that uh, the collider has uh, indeed gotten set correctly, which it has. And similarly for the paddle as well, I need to add a collider. So uh, let's just go in physics 2D and see which one fits best. So I think capsule collider should be good. And uh, I am going to have to change the direction to I think horizontal. Um, and I think now it's set perfectly. So once uh, that is done, I also need a rigid body on one of my uh, objects to be able to detect a collision. So I just go on the ball physics 2D and I should be able to find rigid body 2D here. Within this, I want to set um, the gravity scale to zero. I don't want any gravity in my game. And uh, I think with that I'm done. I should now be able to detect collisions between my ball and my paddle. So let's check that out. So here what I can do is I write if uh, target dot transform dot tag. I think I'm doing this correctly. Uh, equals paddle. Then let me just add a debug dot log which says uh, hit paddle. So once this is done, I can go back to my game and try this out. Alright, so I'm running my project now and let's see what happens when the ball hits the paddle and you can see immediately that I got a hit paddle message here. So we are detecting collisions perfectly and that's pretty good. Now all we are going to do when we hit the paddle is instead of this debug log, I'm just going to set the Y velocity. Uh, to minus of y velocity whatever that was it, ju it should just go upwards um, to be very honest what we should also be doing is do making some changes to the x velocity because 
based on where the ball hits the paddle the ball should move differently um this is something that i call english but we are not going to add any english right now so whenever it hits the paddle it's just going to go straight back up uh following all of those uh, laws of reflection angle of incidence equals angle of reflection all of that i'm just going to reverse the y velocity and um with this we should be able to get the uh, paddle collisions working perfectly i'm also going to add um an else if which is target dot transform dot tag equals brick so if i hit a brick uh what do i want to do once again i want to do a y velocity equals minus of y velocity and uh the other thing that i want to do very important is that i want to get rid of that brick and uh preferably i don't want it to set it to invisible i just want to destroy that game object uh if possible and that is exactly what i'm going to do i use the destroy function and uh i give it the game object which i want to destroy so i want to destroy target dot game object and um this should handle my collisions with the brick as well uh collisions are as simple as this in unity which is pretty great one thing that i want to do before we uh try this out is i want to go on to projects and prefabs which is where i have the brick and i haven't set any uh tag to this so i want to set a tag of brick and once that is done we are ready to try it out so let's do that all right so when we hit the paddle it's going up that's perfect and uh now i'm also expecting it to hit the brick and the brick got destroyed uh so this is working pretty well one thing that we still haven't done is handle the off screen stuff so now the ball is just gone off screen there are actually uh two ways to do this one of them is to check the bounds of the ball itself the other one would be to make uh to make invisible walls wherever i have the end of my screen and um uh, i could just check collisions of the ball with uh with that invisible object and based on that just reverse the x velocity um we are going to be doing the first one which is uh checking the bounds of the ball that will also help us uh do the same for the paddle i think we'll do that in the next video and with that we should be done with most of our game after that it'll probably just be adding a menu and recording the score things like that see you in the next video stay tuned for it in the meanwhile you know the drill like share and subscribe see you next time